guys, welcome back to my channel. I think I'm gonna call this and then I blacked out video because I, you guys already saw I had a haul. I hauled my Sephora first order and I did like a little try on video. I bought six things, I was living my life and then I blacked out and, <laughs> and all of this happened. <laughs> But technically, all of this is not from just the Sephora sale. There's a little bit of Ulta. There's stuff I bought at the end of October. Because if you guys remember my last haul video, I did a little bit of September and a little bit of October. So this is a little bit of October and a little bit of November. Obviously, the Sephora sale. So yeah, I figured I'd just make one big haul. And what I want to do in 2019 is actually do a called it but how was it type video so in January I'll look at January of 2018's haul and kind of give you guys reviews on those products so let me know if that's something you think you might be interested in but as you guys can see there's a shit ton of stuff behind me and I want to get into telling you guys what I got so if you're interested just keep watching okay so the first thing I want to get out of the way I did actually end up picking up the entire Zodiac collection from Kale Polish. I don't know what it is. I've fallen back in love with Kale Polish. And when I saw the announcement video for the Zodiac collection, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to need all of that. So these shades are so pretty. If you guys want to see swatches of these nail polishes, I have a highlight on my Instagram. My Instagram is linked down below if you want to follow me on there. But I have a Kale Polish highlight and every time I wear one of these shades on my nails. I take a picture so you guys can see what it looks like. I've already worn Capricorn, which is a beautiful green. This shade, Gemini. It's gonna be so cute for spring, but I already wore it. Um, this shade, Pisces, is gorgeous. I've pretty much worn all of the fun colors and the bright colors, but there's more. I wanna wear this one. Taurus 2 is like a beautiful caramely color. I just love her shades and honestly, I have stopped buying other nail polish brands because I just love the Kale polishes and they're so long lasting. They're literally my favorite brand of nail polish and I usually just do my fingernails at home so I like to keep them semi decently long and then I just paint them myself. I used to get my nails done but it's not really necessary for me right now so yeah I love Kale polish and I want to do a full review kind of showing you guys all the colors I have collected so far. So let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. And then the next thing I picked up is this guy. I've already done a swatch party, I believe, on this. And I have my review filmed. I just have to edit it and post it. But you guys, I love this palette. I don't really love a whole lot from Natasha Denona, but this palette is honestly my favorite thing I've picked up from her. And... I feel like if all my palettes were to disappear tomorrow, this is one I would actually repurchase and I really, really love it. So if you have been contemplating picking this up and you're still able to get it on sale or something like that, I would highly recommend doing so. Okay, so you guys obviously recognize this is an Ulta bag and I had an $80 coupon, like an in-store um, credit for Ulta. So I just went in store to buy some things. And I was basically trying to spend $80, so I saw that these were buy one, get one half off. And these are my favorite wipes, so I picked up four of them. I was bound to run out at some point, so I'm glad I stocked up on these. The next thing I picked up is this blush. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this, but this is by the brand MAC. And this is called Cheeky Bits. And the thing is, this reminds me so much of a blush I already have in a NARS palette. I was blacking out, you guys. I, like, bought this, and I'm like, wow, this looks almost exactly like that blush I have from NARS so I might take this back but you guys know I love like these hot coral neon shades I saw a video who was it Mel Tom did a video call products I have too many of or something like that and she talked about like specific things I think it was Mel and I was like oh my gosh I should really do a video like that because I have so many things oh no it was Kelly Gooch sorry Kelly Gooch did a video inspired by somebody else and she was showing like how she has like repeats in her collection and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely guilty of like corally br blushes. That's like the one thing I gravitate towards too when it comes to blush. So I picked up two Morphe 
lippies. These ones, um, I was curious about the formula because I know I had seen Jaclyn Hill talk about these when they first launched, but Jaclyn Hill tends to overhype everything Morphe, so I was very skeptical. So I bought two shades. This shade is the one I'm wearing today. It's called True Story, and it's a beautiful nude color. I've kind of been talking about this a lot, so if you're bored of me, I'm sorry. And then this is the other shade I picked up that I'm really, really excited to try. I want to get this haul film so I can put all this stuff away and start using it. But this is the shade Peanut, and I'm so excited. It's like a terracotta again. I just love shades like this. They just work so well for me, and they're a great everyday color. I also really like the packaging. And I believe these were like 8 bucks, so they're very affordable, and I kind of want to pick up some more, so we'll see how that goes. And then I bought this guy because I've heard so many people have nothing but good things to say about the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have the concealer. I'm not the biggest fan, but I've heard really good things about this. I bought the shade... Uh, what shade did I buy? Uh, F12, I don't know, I winged it, so I'm not even sure if it's going to work for my skin tone, but we'll see how it goes. I will let you guys know in an upcoming video. And then I picked up their foundation stick as well, also in the shade F12. And then I picked up two ColourPop brow gels and a Essence Make Me Brow gel as well. I usually love to use the Anastasia brow gel, but these ones are... <laughs> Super cheap, like six bucks and like three bucks, I think. So I thought I might as well pick them up and see how it goes. And so that's everything in the Ulta bag. Okay, guys, just know that this is a mix of Ulta and Sephora, so I'll tell you what I got from where. This I picked up again because I was looking for stuff to hit that $80 mark. And this is the Glitter Fever Morphe Glitter Metallic Eyeshadows. These were a good deal, they were like 12 bucks. And they had two sets. I have another one somewhere in this haul. Uh, but I'm so excited to play with these. Um, they're such wearable colors. And they were pretty freaking shimmery too. So if you don't want to splurge on the Stila Glitter and Glows, which I feel like are a little bit overpriced at this point because everyone's making a glitter eyeshadow, I would maybe recommend picking these up. I haven't tried them all yet. And I think that would make the cutest like stocking stuffer for somebody that loves playing with glitter. Okay, let's talk about some palettes really quick. So I picked up the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I've used this nonstop since I picked this up from Sephora during the sale. I have a first impressions video that I will link up in the cards for you guys if you're interested. Probably one of my favorite palettes of 2018. I also picked up the three new Pat McGrath palettes. I am really enjoying playing with these. Bronze Temptation is by far my favorite, so if you're considering picking one up, I would recommend this guy. These two are not as exciting, but I will review them for you guys if you are interested. But yeah, this palette is the one I thought I would like the least, and actually it's the one I like the most. Mostly because there is a bomb dual chrome shade in there named Corruption. I think that's what it's called, and it's really, really good. Plus the formula on these are dope. I wouldn't say you need all three though, I'd, I'd just get the red one if I were able to do it again. Okay, the next things I picked up are two palettes from Blush Tribe. I was waiting for the Fall Fusion palette to place an order. And now, you guys, if you haven't heard, Paulina Beauty, I will link her channel down below. She is collabing with them for a Paulina Beauty palette, which she already like sneak peeked in and everything. So I probably will pick that up when it launches. But this is their Fall Fusion palette, and there is a shade in here named Paulina, which is... Where is Paulina? I can't read upside down. Okay, the hot pink is Paulina, and then this shade is called Angelica. Two of my favorite Swedish YouTubers, if you guys don't know who they are, you're missing out on life. But this is what the palette looks like, and then I really, really, really wanted this palette. Like I said, I just waited to order it, so since these come from the UK, I wanted to place a, you know, order with more than one palette. And this is the Hasina 2. It is a beautiful purple-green blue palette. So I don't have anything like this, and I am so pumped that I was able to get my hands on this. Okay, guys, so this I picked up from Sephora, and this is one of my favorite things that I picked up during the VIB sale. This is a beauty water by the brand Sun & Park, and I believe this is a Japanese skincare brand. And I remember Stephanie Nicole mentioning this in a recommendations video. I don't know if it was in her recent one, but I had it favorited from that time I watched her video. And I never picked this up because I was using the 
body shop toners but recently I've been using this pink one and I'm actually just I'm ready to just like toss this in my empties because I feel like for a hydrating toner this one does not hydrate my face at all I feel like it almost strips my skin of the good stuff and I've worked it with a few other body shop toners and I haven't had the problem but this one has sucked so I really noticed since I started using this guy how good this toner is oh my gosh this is definitely a hidden gem at Sephora if you guys have the chance definitely pick it up it says it is the smart cleansing liquid based uh, natural plant therapy that exfoliates and moisturizes skin at once beauty water can be used daily morning and evening it is recommended as the first step for the perfect makeup it clean cleans any old dead skin cells to make skin feel sleek and soft it contains an array of skin loving ingredients to boost skin's moisture immediately beauty water is also an ideal way to refresh skin anytime you want midday or when washing with a cleanser isn't an option you will instantly feel how young and healthy your skin is after this beauty water this is amazing really the box kind of sums it up to perfection and i will definitely continue to use this and potentially repurchase this in the future because that's how much I love it. So I also went in store to my Sephora during the sale time. So I grabbed some things in store, but everything in this basket is Sephora. So let me show you. This I picked up before the sale because I was scared it was going to sell out. This is a Pat McGrath Labs Mini Trans Color Blitz Trio. This is a limited edition collection and the three shades in here are Elson, um, obsessed and full panic so as you can see i haven't opened these yet and this is 25 bucks so it's good because it's all more like red shades and i don't really need full sizes of these so i am happy to have a small size here is that other morphe set i told you guys about that i picked up at my alta store when i was in there so these are three more shades and i'm just so excited for these because i do feel like they look very glittery and I don't like to try a lot of Morphe stuff, but like I said, I had that 80, you know, dollars and there wasn't a lot of stuff that I didn't already have at my Ulta, so I was like, whatever, let me just try it. But this green shade, I love a good army green shade. I'm actually wearing the shade Dirty Money from the Desi X Katie collab. There's like this beautiful bronze copper shade. And then what's the other shade in here? Like a nice you know, usual champagne color, so it's so easy to wear these. I just think this is such a cute stocking stuffer too for the beauty lover in your life. I already have used this. This was in my initial haul and so was this. These are two Tarcha products. I had the Gold Chamomile Beauty Oil and the Violet Radiant Mask. The Violet C Radiant Mask, this is actually really good. I've already used this twice on my face and I love how soft and hydrated it makes my skin feel. I bought this, oh my gosh, I didn't need this. This was totally a packaging buy, you guys. I don't even know if this is going to suit my skin. If it doesn't, I'm totally returning it. But it is one of the Pat McGrath like shimmer lipsticks. But I got the shade Flesh, Flesh Fatale. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I can usually pull off shades. Like this. I don't want to swatch it. I, well, fuck it. I'll swatch it. Okay, let's see. So it's like a bomb type lip with lots of shimmer in it. It's got a pretty like pink gold shimmer so oh, might be nice for the holidays we'll see how it goes I know my friend Kat bought every single shade so if you want to see her swatching those on her lips she does have a video on her channel I will try and remember to link that down below for you guys otherwise you guys all probably know Kat so check that out these are unnecessarily bougie but I bought them anyway these are the Sephora instant nail polish removers and they were on clearance for five bucks and 20% off and um, I was like why not because I really like these I've used them in the past so I picked up two so one of my favorite things that I found in store is this Urban Decay pencil I had been waiting for this to come in stock on Sephora and at Ulta and it didn't and it was also on the stock on Urban Decay's website and I've been looking for a pink eye pencil so I bought it in store and then my Alta had it and my Sephora and they only each had one. So I was like, let me just grab them just in case it's being discontinued. But I bought the shade, it's called Woodstock. And here is a swatch, I think I saw it actually on Macy's. 
So if you're watching this video and you want to find it, I believe Macy's has it in stock so you can get it there. Okay, here is another gem that I wasn't going to buy online, but since I saw it in person, I was like, ooh, let me get that. This is the Sephora Lip Stain Collection, and this is a holiday set. So you get six full sizes, and how much is this? This is like really good value. They even told me at the counter. I didn't do the math on it. I just like this formula. I have a bunch of minis in this formula, but the shades that really caught my attention is this like peach shade. I don't know what these colors are. Copper blush, maybe? I don't know, this peachy shade, and then there's like a mauve, and I could maybe gift some of these other shades if I didn't end up wearing them. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute set, and it was kind of a good deal, so in case you're looking out for that. This was a purchase from the Ulta 20% off coupon. This is the Proof It Waterproof Eyebrow Primer. Eyebrow Primer? No, I meant to buy... Oh, fuck. I meant to buy eyeshadow primer, not eyebrow primer. See, ugh, I need to return this. So yeah, I was looking for this guy. This was recommended by a subscriber and I really love it. So I figured while I have 20% off, I might as well restock. But I bought the eyebrow primer. I don't think I need an eyebrow primer. My eyebrows are doing swell. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and return that. Okay, here were more Sephora in-store purchases. I don't know, guys. I blacked out. This is the shade Glam Jam by Marc Jacobs. This is a highlighter. I swatched this in-store, and it was so pretty. And I was just like, you know what? 20% off. Just grab everything you want, and then you can decide. I'm such a psycho. Um, but is this pencil going to come out? Marc Jacobs had some really beautiful eye pencils, and I haven't tried a whole lot of them. Um, but this was like a beautiful burgundy shade, and I thought for the holidays, it might be beautiful. I don't know if it's going to stand out on my skin tone or if it's going to make me look like crazy eyes. So I will report back on that for you guys. And then, this I had eyed when I saw Sephora do a live on this product. This is a Kat Von D eyeliner, if I can get it out. And they have like five or six shades and this red one I just thought would be so cute if I just did um, concealer eye and then did like a red wing for the holidays. I thought that might be like super pretty and I didn't want to just get the black one. But this has a very small tip, like a felt tip applicator. So I'm yet to try it on my actual eyes but it's a pretty matte red and the black was sold out at my Sephora so... I just got the red just to see, but like, can you guys see how opaque that is? I mean, that's beautiful. The Bite Agave Lip Masks went on sale the second weekend, and so I bought the shade Naturel. I have one of these in my bathroom upstairs, and I put it on every night before I go to bed. So I figured, since it was on sale, I'll just get it back up. This was a Makeup Struggles Made Me Buy It. This is a Marc Jacobs Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. I bought this online because I was feeling unwell one day and I was at the doctor's office waiting and I was kind of bored and I was like, you know what, let me let me just get that because everyone and their grandma has been talking about this shade. This is the shade, what is it called? Uh, Topaz Flash, I believe Mel um, Thompson again, or Tom, sorry, um, had talked about this and shown it on her channel and then makeup struggles and like the whole, it was like a snowball effect. So every YouTuber is buying this product and I was like, well, I'm trying to be every YouTuber. Let me get one too. Okay guys, so I bought this. I hadn't intended on buying this because I have the loose setting powder, but everyone talks about what an amazing powder this is. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in Medium, um, which is shade number two. And I actually used this today. I really like it. It's very finely milled. And you can pick up quite a bit of product with your brush. So I do really like it. And then this is the Cover FX Power Play Color Concealer in the shade Medium 3, G Medium 3. And I've heard so many good things about this product, but honestly, it does not impress me that much. I'm actually wearing it today, and I feel like it's not really worth the price. So I think that might go back. And then I can't remember if I showed this to you guys in a previous haul, but I did pick up the 
ColourPop Oolala palette because pink speaks to me on a higher spiritual level. And of course I had to get this. I haven't bought any of the other new-ish ColourPop palettes though because they're all kind of boring. So I did like this pink one though and hoping that they come out with some exciting things for the fall. Okay guys, so here is another mixed bag of stuff. This particular box contains one of my last Sephora orders, so I was just going through the website before the sale ended for me, and I saw these scrunchies. These are by the brand Slip. They make those like silk pillowcases, and these are silk scrunchies from the makers of the Anti Sleep Crease Anti Bedhead Pure Silk Pillow, and these are fucking bougie ass scrunchies. They're like 40 bucks for six of them, and I was like, let me just get them and try them out so I can let my YouTube family know if these are worth the hype. My hair, I'm trying to grow it out and a lot of the times for work, I don't end up styling it. I'm lazy AF, you guys. If I can go like five days without washing my hair, I'm more than happy to do that. It's also just a lot better for your hair if you don't wash it very often. And also right now, it's like 10 degrees outside. So I washed my hair and I went outside and I like already had a headache because my hair probably like froze. And so I was like, give me some silk freaking headbands, you know what I mean? So I don't know if they have other colors. I know they have a different size. Well, that feels pretty nice. So I wear my hair up a lot for work. And so I was like, you know what? I can justify this purchase. And then to top it all off, I bought this one because I wanted to test them like, you know, battle of the hair ties. This is by the brand Invisibobble. And so there's that like phone wire in here, but it has like the velvet color. And I'm like so obsessed with velvet. So I bought one of those two to try out and see how it all works. I don't technically believe when they say the Invisibobble doesn't leave a crease in your hair. I definitely feel like it leaves a crease in my hair. Um, I also have a lot of hair, so it could be that I just have thick hair. Um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. As you can tell, I'm so stylish. <laughs> and then I swatched this in store, so I decided to buy it online. As the sale was ending, I really went at the eyeliners for some reason. But this swatch so beautifully, I was actually surprised. This is the shade Chaos by Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 eye pencil. That was really hard to open. And I don't know, it was pretty, it's kind of basic. Like it's not like a revolutionary blue, but I think because it's matte, it'll actually show up on my eyes better. And then I had to get this because Mel, um, talks about these eyeliners so hard in her. Oh, it's really in there you guys. This is the shade Boss by Milk Makeup. I don't really Oh fuck that went flying. I don't really like Milk Makeup for much of anything but Mel kept saying how good this eyeliner was and You know what a black eyeliner you can never have too many. That was pretty good. It's pretty creamy I uh, love the Pat McGrath. Oh fuck, I already got it on the cover. Seriously? <laughs> um, I love the Pat McGrath black eyeliner pencil, but I figured it never hurts to try something new. And then, oh yeah, there's like a smudger on this side, so that's kind of nice, I guess. So I did buy this. You guys have already seen me try this out. This is the NARS Hot Trist palette. I believe this sold out. During the Rouge sale, I picked it up before then, and honestly guys, I've been using it for a while now, and I have to echo, I was just watching Tati, and she kind of talked about, like she put this palette in a products that aren't worth the price, and I kind of have to agree with her, this, for my skin tone, it just isn't amazing, like, it's a $60 palette, and... I know Mel loves this palette, so a lot of you probably are thinking maybe I'm like nuts, but I tried to love it, I really did, because I love a lot of NARS face palettes, but that particular one I feel like is very overpriced, and so I'm pretty sure I'm going to return that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is two indie palettes I picked up um, in the month of October. So I have the Divinity palette and the Feral palette. I actually filmed a Get Ready With Me featuring both of these palettes, and that will probably go up after this video. So... If it does, you know, subscribe to my channel so you can see the get ready with me. But yeah, this is what the Feral palette looks like. I am not loving this formula, so I need to like play with it more. And then this is 
the Divinity palette, which is from Strobe Cosmetics. They also did the Creepy Cute palette, if you guys remember the Creepy Cute. I didn't think it was the greatest with my skin tone, and um, I thought the Divinity would work better because it has more fall shades, and I thought maybe because they're a more deeper um, color combo, it would work better for me, but I'm not really feeling that vibe either. So, kind of two misses as far as eyeshadow palettes from indie brands, but it's okay. I'm gonna try them some more. I'm not trying to knock them before I, you know, give them 100% chance, but definitely watch that get ready with me because I thought the look I came up with was actually pretty cool. Okay, I want to show you guys some skincare things I picked up. I picked up the Mario Badescu Aloe Vera Toner. This is from Alta. I was, again, on a hunt for new toners because I wasn't loving that body shop one. So I picked this up. Also, this is a little bit more affordable. And I also picked up their Rose Hip Nourishing Oil. This was one of their best-selling face oils. And it says it's re it revives dehydrated skin and smooths dry patches. So I was really, really curious because I love a good face oil. You guys know I love the Sunday Riley face oils. And those are pretty pricey, and this one was only 22 bucks, so I decided to try it out and see, and you get one fluid ounce in this bottle. Okay guys, so here is the last bit of this haul. Uh, everything in here is basically from Sephora except this guy. This was a Beautylish order I placed because they were doing a gift card sale where if you bought something $100 or more, you got a $20 gift card. I actually ended up not, I don't think I got the gift card because I used the payment plan on these, but that's okay. This is the Wayne Goss eyeshadow brush set, the eye set, and I can't believe this. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this because this is so pricey. $130 for these five little brushes and they come in this canister and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> So let me know if you have these brushes. A lot of people that saw me uh, talk about them on Instagram have messaged me and told me they're worth it, but this is a tough pill to swallow. It says they're handcrafted in Kumano, Japan from the softest natural hair bristles exclusively on Beautylish. I really do like shopping on Beautylish, so I was, you know, happy to pick these up, but I cannot believe the price tag on these. And uh, yeah, everyone was just like, are you sure you paid 100 I was like, trust me, girl, I paid $130 for those. So there's that. This, again, I'm going to blame on blacking out because I don't know why I feel like this bronzer is going to work for me, but I swear the lighting on the photos on Sephora.com is so deceptive because this looked a lot darker on the Sephora website, but I don't know. I feel like, yeah, this is like my skin tone. This is like my skin tone. Marc Jacobs. Why can't you make a bronzer for dark girls? Huh? Shame on you. God damn it. So I kind of want to try this out on my face before I send it back. But I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's too light for my skin tone. I don't know why I bought it. I, I feel like I already knew that it was too light. But I was like... Oh, but it looks so much darker on the website. Let me try it. Here's another one where I think I fucked up the shade selection. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Creme Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and trip Triptide Complex. It says it's matte and oil-free. And what? You only get 0.68 fluid ounces. What the shit is that? This packaging is so fancy, though. And I heard Ashani, Total Makeup Junkie 101, talk about this foundation. And she said it's like her go-to full coverage foundation. I got the shade Bronze, but I feel like it's too light for me. I don't know if it's going to oxidize. Um, but just looking at it in the container, it looks so light. But the description... The description on the Savora website made it sound like it would work. I don't know. It's got a strong scent to it, too. This is interesting. I, I'll i probably... I don't know. It, it might oxidize. Let's see how it goes. Kind of a pricey foundation, but she said it was good, and I'd always been curious about it because I knew it was a full coverage foundation, and I love full coverage foundations, so yeah, maybe... I don't know, guys. I'll try it out and keep you guys posted. Here is another Marc Jacobs eye pencil I bought. Again, because I was on the hunt for a pink eye pencil and the Sephora 
was sold out of the Urban Decay one I had my eye on. So I thought I'd try Marc Jacobs and this is one of their, is this a highlighter? Yep, and it's a matte and the shade is popular, I don't know. And it's a pretty matte pink. Um, so there it is there. And I haven't tried this in my waterline, so I'm curious. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, it's going back. Bought another Pat McGrath lippy. This is Flesh 3 in the Lip Fetish Sheer Color Lip Balm. Mel made me do it. She was talking about this in a recommendations video. Not this particular color, but this formula. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. And I was like, well, fuck, now I need it. So I bought it and... I haven't used this on my, I'm just going to wait. It's too pretty. I don't want to swatch it. Um, but there is the packaging. So gorgeous. Next, I bought this Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. This was sold out and then came back in stock. And it's supposed to be like a heat up. It like heats up on your face. So I am so curious to know how this works. Plus, I live in like the coldest place on earth. So... I'm excited to try this and see how it goes. It was pretty pricey, um, but I actually really like the Tatcha mask I picked up uh, during the sale, so I'm thinking I might really like the pharmacy one as well. Yeah. I bought this blush. I wasn't going to, mostly because I wasn't sure if it would work with my skin tone. Also, I feel like blush isn't really my thing that I splurge on, but it was Charlotte Tilbury. It was on sale. I was like, why not? And this is the shade Sex on Fire, and it's like this really beautiful berry so I will try it out and let you guys know if it works on my skin tone maybe I could do a try new Sephora makeup video I don't know we'll see how it goes and then I bought a different shade in the Huda Beauty overachiever concealer I bought toasted almond because I felt like granola was maybe a little too light so I will keep you guys posted on if that works out or not I also bought this guy Topaz I saw my friend Miss Katie Hill here on YouTube she bought it and she like swatched it and I was like, ooh, that one shade though, this like mustard shade I thought would look so pretty on my skin tone, just kind of in the crease. So I figured I'd just get it on sale and complete the set. So I have all five of the gemstone, what are these called? The gemstone obsessions or whatever they were called. So yeah, I've really been going hard on Huda Beauty these days. I don't know what's up with me. It is what it is. Also bought a Pat McGrath lip gloss. This is also in the shade Flesh 3, I believe. Flesh 4. And all the flesh shades are essentially the same color. It's just different formulas. So this is the gloss. It's pretty dark gloss. I'm also not a fan of gloss. So I purely bought this because everyone on YouTube has been talking about the lip gloss formula. So I'm just out of pure curiosity. I bought it. I will report back on if it's as good as everyone says it is. And then I'm down to my last two items. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade, I bought the shade Tan, I think Tan 5. And this was another recommendation by Ishani, Total Makeup Junkie 101. If you haven't seen her channel, I will try and remember to link it down below, but she is also of Indian descent. Well, I'm not Indian, but she is Indian. She's not from India. She grew up in the United States, but she's brown. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people that watch me on YouTube say they watch me because it's so hard for them to find somebody with my skin tone. She doesn't have my skin tone, but it's always nice to support small youtuber she is much bigger than me but she's still technically a small youtuber compared to a lot of the other youtubers out there but she recommended this and i was like well sure shawnee let me try it because i was curious about this anyway i've also seen like desi perkins talk about this and charlotte tilbury just did all the makeup for the victoria's secret fashion show and so i'm pretty sure she like uses this on the Victoria's Secret models. I mean, I'm not a Victoria's Secret model, okay, but I like glowy skin too, so I'm curious to see what that product does. You can wear it on its own or under makeup or even over makeup, so it'll be like an experiment. We'll see how it goes. I was bound and determined not to buy any highlighters during the Sephora sale, but I did cave and I bought this one because I felt like it was honestly a solid deal. And this is the Dior Glow Face Palette. Dior highlighters in general are so spendy. They usually run about $50 or more, I would say, maybe like $45, I think more $50, because I mean, it's Dior, you know, it's a designer brand. 
and um, they came out with this backstage collection kind of geared towards makeup artists but I really liked this because I could try four highlighters I got a variety of shades and it cost me as much as one of their full-size like highlighters so let me swatch this because I've heard nothing but good things and I know so many of my Sri Lankan friends have this highlighting palette as well so I'm so excited there's the swatches I actually have my highlighting brush so let me go ahead and dip into this gold shade and see <sighs> I haven't put any highlighter on since this morning so yeah what do you guys think I like the formula it's very soft so I am so excited to play with that and I like that there is a variety of colors in here as well plus it's not an arm and a leg which is nice Okay guys, that is everything I picked up during the Sephora sale and the Ulta sale and just the month of October and a little bit of November. So yeah, let me know what you picked up during the sale. If you filmed a haul video, leave me a link down below. I would love to check it out. I love watching haul videos. I'm an old fashioned kind of gal. I still love hauls and, and I've been binge watching as many as I can get my eyes on. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you got and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. I feel like the holidays are already upon us and I am I can't even imagine what's going to happen on Black Friday and how many sales there are going to be but I am so done you guys. I'm so done with makeup. I think I'm going to be good with makeup purchases for the rest of the year. I did pick up the Alien palette by Jeffree Star, I really wanted that, so I did buy that and one of his liquid lipsticks for holiday. I don't know that there's anything else I currently want on my wish list, so that's good. Uh, I know Give Me Gold Cosmetics is going to have a really awesome sale for Black Friday, so I kind of have my eye on a few of their single shadows, but it's nothing I really need. So I'm going to try and be good. We'll see how it goes though. I definitely want to film a November and December haul for you guys. So, you know, the pressure is on. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.